What? I'm gonna let everybody know. Six days, we're back on the bike. He is not released yet. I'm gonna uh I'm gonna hey uh, I'm gonna take his bike from the shop, he ain't gonna race nothing. Oh they fabbing up the trunk of the Chevelle. Got the little metal Dang Tyler's doing interior too now? I mean, you know you can't get an interior guy to do it. Huh. Oh there's our pieces down there. That's a, that is Little side pieces. Got us some pieces rubbed in. Side panel. Yep. That right there hurts you. Yeah. I don't know what he was making. Those are 26 pound magnets. Oh, uh, those are the, the 16 pounders. 16 pounders. Them there's the 26. Yeah. Got six, 16 pounders on the piece of hay. I was doing what I was told to do. Nate Dawes putting the seat belts in. Oh, yeah. Well, most of you that responded picked the right color dark brown. Hey, um, you might want to go back up front. Because they talking about you up there. Why? Tyler's in up there doing interior work. He's not doing interior work. No? He's doing metal fabrication panels for the interior. But he's doing the wood things too. That well, attaches the removable pieces. You gotta keep him busy somehow. He's talking about he might end up having to wrap it too. Oh shit. Beep! You can't say that on. Can't say what. There goes that button again. It's not kid friendly anymore. What? On YouTube. What did I say? Figure out how you're gonna do the back yet? Yep. Drill a hole and stick them through there. But you got room with the with the speaker back there. I'm gonna make some room. Golly, you hear that door? It sounded like a brand new Mercedes shutting. Huh? A Mercedes? Yeah. Huh? That's the first thing that came to mind. Oh. VW actually, because they sound pretty good. The German, the doors just shut. Click. I didn't even touch that door and it shut. I don't know nothing about German stuff. No. Hey, um, by the time this comes out, it'll already be over. But tomorrow night is the first presidential debate. Yeah. And uh, I just wanted to get your predictions on how that was going to go. I already think they need to put both of them in the nut house. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean. You know, I'm not real die-hard Republican, die-hard Democrat. I'm an independent. That's what I read. You Switzerland? Yeah. Okay. Play white flag. We're doing a little pre-debate pre question. Debate. Yeah. Because by the time this comes out, the debate will be over for this week. But um, I want to get your prediction on who's going who's gonna to win the debate tomorrow night. Easy. The Trump man. Trump? By a little bit or? I mean. More like, it's gonna be like, where's Biden? Where's Biden? Yeah. That's kind of like, where's Waldo? Like, where's Waldo? Like, where's Biden? Do you think, do you think Biden, Biden's gonna be like WWF and bring a tag team? You're gonna have to tag in Camilla? So what's gonna happen is, is you know, he's old anyway. He gonna get up there. Trump gonna get a man so worked up, he's gonna have a heart attack. Like that on stage. That's over. Breakdown in the fetal position. Total fetal position. Huh. Well, that's, that's Big Block's prediction on the debate that's tomorrow what I night. Think. What do you think? I think, uh, I think I just used the word hashtag landslide. <laughs> That's I like what that. I would use. That's what I would use. I like that. 
but hashtag landslide. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I can't wait to watch. It. Oh, I'm sure. I, I think they should put it on pay per view and give all the money to some charity, or <laughs> third world country or something. It probably right. <laughs> raise enough money. Probably be the biggest selling pay per view out there. Probably will. All right. While we're waiting on Tyler, I'm doing a pre-debate prediction. I'm getting everybody's response on who they think is going to win the debate tomorrow night. Is it going to be a competition? Well, so they going to call somebody a winner. Well, I'm going to go with uh, oh, Trump. Trump's Trump. Trump. Trump all over Biden. I don't think he got any more back. That's all she wrote, Biden. Uh, that's all she wrote. That's it. I, didn't even, I mean, I don't even think, I mean, unless they got some really good puppet masters for Biden. I hope there's no, I hope there's no uh, predetermined questions. I hope they're off the cuff so you can get the real answer. I think they should just do Joe Biden, oh, not Joe Biden, Joe Rogan's idea. Joe Rogan volunteered to host the debate live with just Joe Rogan, Joe Biden, and Trump. Nobody else. All of his own questions. That'd be good. He'd have them so he'd have both of them all the time to spun out. Well, he'd probably have them smoking some weed That's too while they were doing it. He'd, he'd have them all <laughs> spun out. There ain't no telling what come up. And doing shots too. <laughs> Of course, Trump, Trump don't drink, so. Well, Josh. How y'all doing? How's the start of the week going for you? It's going all right. Got to, got to work on the old Indian outlaw, Tim McGraw edition. She's half Choctaw and Cherokee and Choctaw yeah. or whatever. Choctaw, yeah. What you doing on it? Well, Cole, uh, Raised up the front suspension. He uh, adjusted the coilovers, um, and we removed the battery box so it can be painted. And found a faulty fitting on the transmission cooler that was leaking. Um, so that's got to be fixed. Um, other than that, well, we hung the doors back on it this morning. He put the weather stripping on the doors. We put them back on. Got them adjusted. And, Got the door gaps right. That's about the gist of it on that. She needs some attention. Yeah. And then I played Ghostbusters in the, on the property and oh. sprayed all the weeds. Trying to trying to get it all down. You just gonna come over here and steal my thunder like that? Hey, I, just, the camera went towards me. It automatically does that. It automatically does that. Weird. See, watch, make a move, and follow. Ready? Yeah. Something, isn't it? Crazy. It is. Weird. Look. Look, say, he's now old man. Don't pop a hit. You must have one of those uh, magnets on you or something that, you know. What you working on back there? Some Bronco parts. Bronco parts. Friday we before our little adventure, I. Uh, and the underside of the hood. Right aligned it again for uh, a little extra texture. Yes. And then now we're gonna do the top hey, side. Hey, who, who's hood. that guy right there? I don't know. Have y'all have oh, met, have you, met this guy right you here? Guy nice to meet you, man. Hey, no. They haven't met him yet? They haven't met him yet. He's, he's a straw ball. I'm incognito. Well, they gone. At least this side. I hadn't looked at the other side. I know the other side yet. They fell off. Gone. Customer decided to shave the drip rails. You have to do anything to that? You're just going to leave that little curve right there and that'll be enough? Yeah, it'll leave this little body line in it. It'll look like crevices. Yeah. Just have that slight little body line to it. But... Let's get a good look. 
not the easiest to weld because it's dirty yeah. in between the pieces, but it cleans up good. This is uh, par for the course. All projects evolve. Oh yeah. So what what new things have we done on this uh, that was not a, a originally intended? Do you remember? Uh, trunk enclosure, I think. Yep. This. And I don't know what else. Uh, Shorten mini tubs. Really Shorten the rear end. Mini tubs. Uh, which really wasn't a big deal, but billet hinges, yeah. which is cost for the hinges themselves. Uh, what do we call these things right here? Uh, hood latches. Hood latches. Push down, they pop up. Air billet. Billet air vents. Billet air vents. Oh, from uh, Resto Mod Air or Resto Air. Resto. They're about $800 worth of air vents. Yeah, not cheap. New seats. We had to make brackets for those to go into so it's just uh, um, always an evolving project yeah okay looky looky what we got back in the shop after being put on hold for a little while and then part of it was our fault uh, we had to work it back in the process but we got the 36 Ford truck back in street rod it's gonna be awesome Batman frame a lot of custom work on this Making sure this body line goes all the way around perfectly. So we'll start body working this one. Or finish body working this one. It's got uh, just a little bit to go. Start getting some uh, paint on it soon, hopefully. Alright, let's see what we got in the shop here. 1933 Ford Coupe. Putting a Holly Sniper EFI on it. Doing a little adjusting on the brakes. And uh, had to take the gas tank out of it. With the EFI. But believe it or not, this gentleman Jeff, his, uh, well, as you see, he's an insurance state farm. Drives this to work every day. Mr. Cotta. What's up? What are you doing? Uh, shrinking and stretching and bending this piece of metal right here. It's gonna be the top surround for the rear window. How's uh, we got all the the chrome for it? I can see we uh, yeah, I starting to. Some missing, but we got what we have put in place. You know that's gonna be very expensive to re-chrome. Very expensive. It's a lot of chrome. Yes. Really, the only thing that's not going back on is the windshield and the rear window chrome. Hey guys, here comes Beavis and Butthead. I'll let you choose who is who. See what I mean? Cruising through Monday. Yep. Hey guys, this is Vince. We're on location here at Creative Rods. We opened up a new uh, division of Creative Rods and Restoration uh, used parts, and I'm going to let Nate Dog tell you a little bit more about it, okay? Nate Dog, take it over. Okay, fans, look what we have here. We've got these perfectly good used parts that are only uh, available through Creative Rods. And so you've got this uh, well used hat or something. Yeah, drum hat. Or isn't that a rotor? Rotor, yes. Okay. Um, How much is that thing? Probably twenty nine ninety five. Okay, good, good. Now, now you could probably get it at the uh, O'Reilly's or something, but you know we've got our name on that. And it's OEM. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we don't know what OEM it is, but it's OEM. Yeah. Um, need a good spare tire for your hot rod. Is that um, a twenty? Um, it's a sixty. Whatever. Okay. The hell sixty. Is okay it's a little flat but just put some psi in there and gotcha. be good to go um gas tanks oh my gosh you got an abundance of gas yeah. tanks um they got extra holes that need to be filled but that's just more places to fill it up with you know oh so it's, and they're they're universal now okay i so. got you 
that'll work better. Um, I've got this chair here if you need this chair. Um, no, if you need to sit down and look at all these used parts, we've got a chair here for you. Um, let's see. Another gas tank. Yeah, scrap metal. What, what um, you got here? Per perfectly good used cab corner. Um, see right there, that's a good, good part to use. Or that may be fender. Oh, well, might I be. I don't know. That's a good one, too. Yeah, that goes in the cow area or something. Really see that. Here's a good fender. Oh, look, exhaust tube. You need some exhaust tube, you know, if you got a hole in your exhaust. Yeah. That or good there's, radiator there's over there. Good radiator. Um, yeah. We got universal fenders. Guaranteed to fit. Oh, look at there. Those for the rear. You need that. Another two. That'll match the front one. Oh, Guaranteed. man. Love them drum brakes. OEM fit. Oh, um, man. We got some leaf springs over here. Springs. Got any tractors? And look, there's some steering column. Steer that bad boy with you. Some hood hinges. Hood hinges. They're universal. Oh, hood back of a Camaro. 73 Camaro right there. You Perfect. Put that on a 240SX or something like that, you know? Yeah. I mean, lots of good parts. You need to... Come on down here. Oh, good. Come on down here. Motor mount? Uh, what is that? Yeah. No, that's the flux capacitor mount. Oh, okay. Um, and then you got this little thing here. Huh. Huh. So, lots of good used parts. How do, how do they get in touch with us? They need to call Vince at Creative Rods. No, no they don't. They, this you, is your area. This is Nate Dog no, area. you need to blow up Vince's phone. I don't really know his phone number, but just call the shop. He won't answer. Gotta show y'all these uh, awesome badges we made because the, the Scout 2 wouldn't fit um, on the correct hole, so we made some badges to go along with it. Check that out. Kind of matches our normal trim. We just waiting on the gas tank. Where'd that old gas tank go? Uh, I had no idea. Oh, I can block those. Yeah. Oh, it was stinking up. So. Oh, well, it had a plastic, one of those plastic gas tanks in it, and it just was leaking everywhere. So we got us a new gas tank coming. And uh, other than cleaning it up, I think we're going to be about done with the Scout. We're going to... Hey, Bob. Um, last week, we had an internet meltdown because we were flooded in with calls wanting to know if you were all right, if you had COVID-19 or what was going on while you were out of work last week or part um, of the week. I didn't have COVID. You didn't have COVID? No. Yeah, lucky. Yeah. I had, like, probably pretty close to having it. And that bronchitis. Bronchitis? Had a sinus infection and they got again I'm getting bronchitis from it. And you got much of a voice now. No. Been doped up pretty good. Are you? But they gave me some uh um what you call it? Painkiller? No. <laughs> hey. But uh he had me on an antibiotic and then prednisone. Prednisone. Steroid to oh. break up that junk. Yeah. yeah, does it work? Yeah, pretty good. Have you taken any naps today? No. Okay. About do. I'm pretty close. <laughs> We're glad you're feeling better. Thank you. Hey, y'all. I'm Miranda with Creative Rods. Don't forget to like share with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.